up guys Jacob back in Street Fighter and here with a video on how to deal with grapplers with bison now there's a requested question by a viewer and in terms of dealing with grapplers with bison it's pretty hard because bison first of all doesn't have any good wake up options against you know any character has a good grapple or can really get a lot off of the, their um, command grab it's a very good character against bison because bison struggles with those type of um, things so once a command character gets a, you know in on the, um, on bison is very tough so most of the match you want to make sure that you limit the um, any grapple or any command grab um, character that can get you know good setups off the command grab you want to try to get them off you as much as you can so against these type of matches you have to play very lame and once you get in on them, you know, it's their ass, you're, you're bison, so they can't do anything once you get in on them. So, it's it's more about spacing. You have to know your spacing, you gotta use the right buttons at the right spacing. So, you don't want to be using this. This is a good button, yes, it's a good poke, but against Zangief, specifically Zangief is good against characters that don't have a, a far command grab. Even though it is Zangief's light command grab only that can reach. And, all, and the light one doesn't do that much off of it you still don't want to do it too much because the EX could can uh, grab you as well from this distance the EX so if you're, un, if you're not careful this Zangief is moving close to you waiting for you to try to move up and hit him with this he can just EX command grab you and now that's you now you're back in like a 50-50 situation at the EX command grab and you don't want to try to guess right against Zangief there are options that Zangief has and based on the character that you're playing against or your opponent you have to know what he's going to do so it is a guess most of the time it's just a guess so you don't want to have to guess so dealing with um, normal like pressure or dealing with the neutral I'm going to show you like the good buttons to use with Bison so you don't want to be using this because this button uh, puts you forward the reason why it's good on hit it's good on block is plus one but in the neutral it's not that effective against uh, Zangief because of his armor attack so his armor attack brings him forward so when he brings him forward he can get command grab so let me make it a little better has a lot of recovery and it pulls him forward so you don't want that to happen and plus since he's very slow it pulls him forward Zangief could neutral jump you you know it's, it's a, a common thing against um, countering Bison's uh, axe you just jump in on him so the best option you do is uh, standing uh, fierce well, not there. You know, you're standing fierce if you think it's gonna armor. Standing fierce is a good button. Obviously, if you whiff it, which I guess if you face a god like Zangief, they're gonna whiff punish your attacks with command grab. Unless you're facing Zangief that's just throwing stuff out, but you may want to use this button. But like I said, you have to space it out and then wait for him to make a mistake. If you space it out and walk back a little bit, then you'll be fine. Then you get a lot of it. Drop count there, but you know what I'm trying to do. Like you do a lot, you basically just keep poking him there. And once you condition him to stop armoring, and he realizes that you have that part down packed, he's gonna have to go for other things like armoring with his standing fierce. So that's something that Zangief's gonna go for after seeing that you have conditioned him to. That you're a good bicep player, knows that you can't use the Psycho Axe too much against Zangief. So most of the time they're going to be using this against you. So the fully charged one on block is plus one. So you don't have to worry too much if you block it um, from a far distance that its command grab can't reach. Now if you block it there, not a big deal. Doesn't matter, you're still in the neutral, you're still where you want to be. And most of the time he's going to press jab since it's plus one. He's going to press crouching jab if he whips or he's not in range to um, command grab. He's going to press crouching jab. From a distance, you know, you could throw Fierce out if you do block it from a distance. You know, you have nothing to fear. But how to counter the standing Fierce, you just sweep it. You literally sweep it, you see him going after. Sweep works. I mean, medium kick, you don't want to do anything like that because the point of the armor is to nullify the medium kick. So depending on how early you do the mirror kick, if you make a mistake and he does like, if he does armor it, hold on. Well, kind of messed up. Actually, he's not gonna do it if I don't. 
Okay, like if he does it early, then you basically kick him when he does it early. Then you should be fine. So get out. So you do it as soon as you um you be able to block. But make sure you do get out, cause since it's plus one, he can't come and grab you out of it. So, but do be aware if you play a very good Zank player, they're gonna read that you're gonna try to jump. Cause based on their experience, they played against characters or, or players that are trying to bait that out. That doesn't link. Alright, just testing now my options. Yeah, probably. I mean, the best option is this, but if you think about it, you don't want to be in this situation against Zangief. You are in a plus situation, but still, like, you don't want to be in throw range against Zangief. Most of the time, you're just gonna go for like something simple, like just like a poke. Cause you have a three frame, so you could just like go for a three frame after that if you're a little worried about it. EX scissor kick does work against him, but that's if you just don't want to like risk trying to uh, whiff punish him and you just you know holding on to it. And plus, even if he blocks it, you're okay. It's an easy whiff punish, and it gives you um, Oki off of it. Get your free setup off it. Yeah, since, since I didn't time it right there, that would've been my ass. So make sure your spacing is well against that. That's what he's most likely gonna try to do. And if that doesn't work, then you know his third option is, is jumping in on you. And that is annoying to deal with. Cause his jumping is very good against you. Alright, I just set him to like throw buttons there. Alright. Most time he can't get in on you. You can try to use medium kick or jump medium kick. And try to make like a, a better scenario with Zanky trying to jump in. Alright. So, eh. Just want to make an example. So if you're not ready for it, then it's really tough with Bison. You have to kind of just like. It's just tough. You can use a uh, crouch jab. Crouch jab is another option for Bison. It's kind of a, a new option that Bison has to deal with uh, jump ins. So. It's very cheap because he literally can get um, like a trade out of it most of the time. It's so weird. It's so cheap. But that's a new um, move that, or a new anti -air. I mean, most people did know so that no one really blew it up. So it was kind of kept a secret. But yeah, crouching jab works. Because so many people are used to preemptively trying to catch you at the peak of your, um, you know, your head. You know, they're trying to catch you on the top, very top, so they can get the plus range easy on you. Or they get a faster jump in. But that's why sometimes a lot of players they will duck and do a move because they shrink the hitbox and it will confuse the player. And it becomes ambiguous for them. But if they're setting it up then they know what they're going to do and they're going to punish you. So you can use that against Zangies who are trying to get that jump in. Most Zangies when they're jumping in on you they're either using jump in light kick or jump in medium kick. Most of the time they're not really going to go for um, jump in fierce. And his jump in fierce is not really that good anyways. Because even if he goes for a jump fierce you know. This is the move that a lot of Zangies do. They try to bait you to anti-air so they can command grab you. Now they jump in, they, they whiff the light kick, and then, you know, it's your ass. So using a uh, crouch jab is very good because it gives you enough distance to be able to push him away. Alright. You don't want to use light kick. Light kick's not a good option. Crouch jab has more, um, it's just more range. I'm not sure if it has more active range, it just has more range. Yeah, you just have to time it. Yeah. Just wait a little longer if you see that he's not doing anything like the uh, medium kick. Then that, mean, that means that he's probably going for this. And you can press it twice too. <laughs> just in case if he didn't go for the medium kick. You know, if, if he didn't go for medium kick, go for light, just press it again. So, you get him off of you anyways. So that's a very good option against Zangief. Alright, this feels like a freaking Zangief breakdown. Let me go to another character. Try and deal with grapple with this. Alright. So with Zangief is spacing, you have to be very careful. Alright, let's see another character. Let's go over... Should I go over my character, Brody? Oh, no. Thinking. Now we gotta get a better stage. Let's go to Brody's hometown. Even though he's not from China, no one cares. This is the bustling side streets. That's where he's from. Alright. 
Uh, I do birdie or I go for a freaking. Yeah, what should I go for? It was annoying. I mean, birdie is annoying. People complain about him all the time. Let's go for birdie. Right, make him look like bison. It's crazy how birdie looks better in bison's outfit. Hey, stop talking. His mouth stop moving. Damn. All right. Yeah. So with Birdie, this match is pretty tough, but you do have a three frame, so it does help a lot in this matchup than before. But in terms of uh, range, so when Birdie's on you, so since I'm glad I play his character, so I could like give him more depth. Sorry about the sirens in the background. All right. So let's go over Birdie when he's. When you're in the corner, which is very tough, you have to look for very spacing. I know it's gonna sound crazy because it's very hard to react to like, you know, the range and stuff like that. So you gotta watch his movement most of the time before he's gonna do something. So how can you tell when a birdie is probably gonna go for a command grab? That's pretty hard to tell, you know, most of the time, but mainly on the spacing that he's at tells you like after you block some if he's gonna go for some. Cause if he's going for a block string and he moves up a little bit or if let's say he goes for the block string and you block this, he might move up a little bit and go for a command grab because he has a lot of range on it. So those little slight movements after you block, you have to watch out for that. So after this block string, he could go for this only after. If you're if you're trying to press a button, you know after this string, he go for that. So he has options. If you see that he's only going for this and trying to get that command grab on you after, you can interrupt him after that. Don't let him walk up on you. But he can do this, and then, you know, it frame traps, you know, he has a lot of options. So, you gotta think about that as well. So, like I said, this is me, you have to know the command grabs characters' tendencies on what they're gonna do, what are their options. You know, you have to really, like, study the command grab characters. And, you know, that's why you try characters for yourself, because you want to see what they're probably gonna be, what are their options at the certain block strings. You have to know that, because... If you don't then you're just gonna be sitting there in the corner and just scared because you don't know what the character has and you just yeah you panic and you either jump a lot or you're just gonna just sit there and just get command grab constantly over and over again so yeah oh, let me just My simple okay let's go for that all right But if he would do fierce, I would have got hit though. That's just my reaction if he's dashing in. Well, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be more of like a late reaction because. Yeah, you can literally just stick out. If you see something, just stick something out. Like if you see him walking up a little bit. I know it sounds hard because, like, you know, if your reactions aren't on point, you're playing a laggy player, then it's going to be very tough. But. And then if you know he's going to walk up a little bit. I wouldn't, you know, you can jump in on him, it's not a problem, I wouldn't say it's a back thing jumping on him, because by then, if you block so much, he's going to eventually try to go for a command grab, because you've been blocking so much, so, it's just dealing with those type of things, you have to know their options after certain block strings, and what they can do, and just letting, not letting, um, don't let players get away with a lot of stuff, as well, and don't give them too much space, mainly just don't give them the space that they need, don't give them what they want. What a command grab character want is the space so they can command grab you. So don't let, don't give them any room to do that. All right. I know it's tough with Zeng because he has pretty good uh, frame traps. You know, Zeng he has good frame traps. Why it makes it a little harder to guess right on, on his, you know, his command grab, because he can literally go from a crouch and medium into a light command grab. But like I said, light command grab is not a big deal. It just puts you back in the neutral unless if you're near the corner. If you bite, you can just double reverse out of there. Unless if you can read it and you do instant air command grab, but like that's when you you know you just have to take risks. You have to take those risks in the game. If you're just trying to get out of the corner or use ex um scissor kick just to push him back a little bit. Even though when you do ex scissor kick, I know you don't get close up plus one, but you get to push him back and it leaves you you know it pushes you away from the corner. You push him away from the corner. 
and now he's you know he's gonna be a little more impatient on you and try to just take a risk as well so you just gotta get ready for that all right let's go for another commando character so i go for nikali and nikali is very 50 50 uh, i mean there's no way there's no other way to talk about this character is very 50 50 character i mean lord's the same way it's really hard to deal with her um you know her her traps and stuff like that. I wouldn't suggest you using Bison against Laura. I know it's pretty tough, cause you know your your sweep doesn't have range, so it's mainly you using EX Del Reverse to get through her projectiles and stuff like that. And you can't absorb it because by the time you try to absorb it, it's too close to Laura, so she'll command grab you. So that is not a matchup that you are in favor. That's more of you just like you had to just play very just uh, solid and. Keep her, keep her away with really uh, buttons that you can't really keep her away with. So, Bison has had the best keep away options, but once you get in on Laura, she doesn't have any ways, any option to get you off besides armor. And armor is not um, frame one armor, so you can blow that up. All right, deal with Nikali. It, it's pretty tough. I feel like I'm gonna go over Nikali. This is gonna be the last grab I go over because hopefully this is enough for you to understand like what I'm trying to get at and. You know how 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 command guy characters how to deal with command characters and grapplers. So, all right, let's bring it to the corner. All right, dealing with Nikali, I said it before in another another video. So Nikali, after he command grabs, he does not have a lot of options mid screen, but in the corner he does. In the corner he has the uh, command grab Okio. Command guy, you can literally just keep command grab over and over again. But what makes his command guys more. Um, or better is that he can link him off of a light kick. Now if he means light kick, you know, which is plus two on block, he can go into that. So it becomes like a guess, and then you know you can walk up. And it becomes like a very um you know hard match to deal with. You know, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. It's more you have to have a lot of experience with this matchup. It's not an easy matchup. But like I said, once you get in on, once he gets in on you, it's very hard. Or in the corner, mid screen is not too bad. You don't, it's not too bad mid screen. But once you're in the corner against Nikali, it's very hard. So dealing with Nikali is really a 50/50 against Nikali. It's not easy to tell when he's gonna do something. And plus, yet Commander has a lot of range, and then you know he can set you up off there and then just grab you, constantly putting you 50/50s. So I wouldn't really, I don't have too much to say about Nikali. It's more. Some they, a matchup that you have to play consistently. I say it in most of my Nikali matchup videos. It's not easy to explain that matchup because it's a matchup where you really have to like experiment with and play against a Nikali player because it's not easy to explain that matchup. That's one of those characters that you really have to just play against. Alright. I don't know if I should go over Alex. I said that was gonna be the last character grapple I went over, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here. This I think that was enough uh, explanation about you know just how to deal with uh, grapplers. I think I only needed like two in general just to explain, but you know a long range command grab and a short range command grab. I mean. No command guards that short like Armika's is is no command guard short honestly. There aren't short command guards, but it's more about just knowing the spacing of the character and just knowing their options after certain moves. And it's hard to react. I know online depending on you know, situations to where you know connection or stuff like that. That's just something you can't deal with. There's nothing you can do about that. But you you know you're playing offline. That's something you can work on. You know with an Armika player. You know just. See, you have to know the options and stuff like that. The new options, any options, don't let them get away with too much either. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you liked the video. Hope I was able to explain it well and understand what I'm talking about. And, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe for more videos, and I am out. Goodbye.